Hello and welcome to my loft and today I want to do a video on the Mallard. Very very famous loco but before I go on please please do like and subscribe and I would really appreciate if you could watch this video all the way to the end because I think this would really help me with the YouTube standings. Anyway this particular Mallard I bought 40 one years ago and it's actually my first loco that I bought with my own money and uh, I saved up some pocket money from a paper round. Anyway, it has been running ever since for 41 years although I've actually had a few replacement motors. The original Mallard was built in 1938 and it's uh, A4 Pacific Dresley and of course it was built for LMER. Now, before it ever broke its record, it was several months old to make it more free running. And one day in 1938, uh, the Mallard reached the top of Stoke Bank, apparently at 70 miles an hour, and raced down. And it had a 240 ton train. So it just wasn't a single loco going as fast as possible. Now it achieved 126 miles an hour for 141 yards and it managed at 200 and, uh, sorry 124 miles an hour for one minute now it had to hit the brakes to uh, make the points at the bottom of stoke bank uh, it's hit the points so fast it damaged the points and unfortunately my love was damaged having gone so fast uh, it's interesting that uh, supposedly a high speed train went up Stoke Bank at 125 miles an hour and the driver just had to turn a handle. That's also the difference between steam and diesel. Now the reason for breaking this record was it to beat the German record held by class 5 which managed 124.5 miles an hour. Very close. Now, neither country attempted to break the steam record again, partly because once it's low coat is slightly worn out, then you can't break the top speed. Plus, obviously, the damage that is done. Now, the Mallard itself, it had its final service run in 1963. Uh, quite a heavy low coat at 161 tonnes. Now, its attractive effort was £35,000, which is pretty good, uh, and that was actually 2,400 horsepower with real horsepower on the track, about 2,000 horsepower. Now, in comparison, Class 45 Peak had £55,000 uh, of track effort, but its long term, its continuous running, could only manage.
thank you for watching please please do like and subscribe and i hope to see you another day bye